Um, I personally like when the controllers actually um, controls the joints or controls the mesh. So to give a more accurate uh, result, we're going to uh, subdivide this surface. If I remember how it is. Um, I'm not sure. Rebuild surfaces. Yes. Okay. So if we go to rebuild surfaces, we can control how many um, subdivisions it should have. Oops. Um, so if you just place one, we do we only want them in. Uh, Upwards, and that <laughs> doesn't do anything. Okay, I think that's because we already have four. What about if we say eight? Yeah, that adds a bit to it. Um, so you can see you can get more control of it. So let's say ten, or no, let's say twelve. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. And you can see now it acts a bit weird, but uh, it doesn't really matter because we're gonna just we're going to skin this this one. So the next step is to actually skin it with our joints. To do that, I am first going to I believe you have to uh, select the the mesh bit first and then select the joints. Yes. Um, so we're going to select the net plane. Let us just rename it. Let's call it mm, surfaces rubber hose leg left. Alrighty. And you can see the joints. I'm going to select this joint, this joint, the knee joint, the rubber hole second joint, and the ankle joint, and then I forgot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it again. I forgot to select <laughs> the surface. So I'm going to select the nose plane first, and then I'm going to select the same joints as I just did before. then the last one and then I'm gonna go to bind skin smooth pin option box I'm gonna switch this to select the joints and normalize weights is going to be interactive post is a new thing in uh, my 2011 honestly I don't know what the hell it does so I'm just gonna use interactive with which is the same as before in my um, then I'm gonna hit apply and uh, let's see what happens if we move this joint. Nothing happens. <laughs> hmm. So it might be. I'm just gonna hide this ag again. Um, let's see if. Okay, it, it has a bit of influence. This just means that we have to uh, paint our weights on the nerves plane. Because right now it's not uh, acting the way we want it to. So I'm gonna select the nerves plane and then I'm gonna go to edit smooth skin, paint skin weights, hold down control shift option box. Um, so it gets the uh, icon to our shelf. If I select the icon, I get these tools for our new cool um, thing. Normally I use a, um, a tablet to uh, paint skin weights, but uh, I don't got that at home because I'm a poor student. So I'm just gonna paint them the way I want to. Um, you can use these values 
to get a more um, more kind of gradient into it. And bear in mind that because we're working with a nibs plane, it doesn't show all the vertex that you can paint on. So let's see how it looks now. And you can see it follows much better. And you can see it gets the rubber hosey look that we want. We're just gonna do the same thing for the lower one. Um, if you hold down control, right click on a joint. If I okay, there should be a shortcut. I'm not sure why there is. Anyway, let's just select it in the out in the in the options. You don't got so many joints, and right now it's really nice that you have them named. Um, so anyway, this around here should be one, and then you want half of that, 0 0.5, right here, and maybe down here as well. And up here you want 1.25. So let's see how it works. You can always play around with this if you're not happy with it. But right now I think it looks cool. And let's see, I think that if we move this up, you can see it fucks up. <laughs> um, oops, it's the updating thing again. Really weird. Fuck, <laughs> Yeah, anyway. Um, you're going to select the joint, and then you're going to select the controller. You're going to go to a constraint, parent. You're going to select this joint, the controller, and press E to repeat the action. And now it should follow, if I'm lucky. Yes, it does. This means we get the sharp end. And we also get the rubber hose E feel. Ah. I'm really getting annoyed with this updating. Um, Alright guys, um, it just rang my doorbell. So I had to <laughs> go out and open and then it was one of my friends offering me a beer. And how can you refuse that? Anyway, we got uh, our basic uh, rubber hose uh, setup almost done. Um, the next thing we want to do is uh, to somehow control our mesh. But um, we can control it with this mess we need joints to control our mess so um, what we're gonna do is actually to create some hair and I know that uh, sounds a bit weird but uh, bear with me if you go into dynamics you can go into create hair and you can see you get some options and uh, you get some counting um, at and what I would like is I would like five joints f uh, in the top and also in the bottom the, it, so it will be and one of those joints should be in the middle so it will be four on each side and then one in the middle which, which makes nine and then on the other side I want zero yeah. Where the where did <laughs> create the hair? Hmm. Let's try again. Okay. So if you have nine up here and one, it's the how many. Uh, 
places of hair you want so you can see it creates some hair um, onto my mesh and uh, I'm not sure if it's enough I think it is Yeah, it should be enough. I made nine, and uh, nine is the number I wanted. So this uh, hair simulation it makes some um, follicles, and the follicles is going to be on the mesh, however it uh, deforms. So it will al always follow the mesh. Uh, this is a good thing. So you get these three items when you make some hair and you want to delete the hair system and the effects for the hair so you only get the follicles left and you can see this is one follicle if you select it you get some uh, stuff out here you can um, mess with and this is actually uh, the UV coordinates for where it's placed on the mesh so you can see you can mess with this and I'm just gonna make this you can see if you select, if you um, type in a new number, it uh, moves on top of the mesh. I want this to be almost at the top, but uh, not entirely, because if it's entirely, it will be on the edge of this and it can deform a bit weirdly. So I don't want that. And then I want the next one to be in between my joint and my middle joint. So, um, what happens if we got to one, then it's almost on the joint. So what I want to do is just to make it kind of there. It doesn't have to be totally in the middle, but this seems about right. So I'm going to go with that. Um, and now I'm gonna be in Tau that we got enough joints. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Yeah. Let's hope it's enough. And this should be almost one. You can see it's almost placed. It's easier to see, see it from the back actually. So I'm just gonna add a bit. I'm just playing with these values to uh, try and get the right amount. And it's always hard because these are... Um, if you're making, like I did, a lot of um, points on the curve in the middle, there will be more follicles on that part because you got more subdivisions so it's uh, calculated from how many subdivisions you got and you can see now that it's getting there I got the follicles placed on the top one I'm just gonna do it for the lower one as well 